To set up a Python environment, what we want to do is we want to go to the python.org website, go to downloads, click on download Python 3.13, which is the current latest version of this recording. It'll change, the numbers will go up, that just means it's being improved throughout the time. Once it's down, double click. Now inside here, before you start clicking anything, right, so we want to do install now, what we want to do is we want to add Python to the path. This means we can use Python anywhere on the system. And then we want to use admin privileges while we're doing it. Reason being, it means that when we use Python to install everything else, we have full control over what is going to occur. So what you want to do normally is once you've done this, is you actually want to get there and you want to reboot your computer afterwards. Reason being, this ensures that Python has actually made itself into the path of your operating system. So this guy's almost there, like so. And from here we go, close. So now we have Python in the system. So if we do Windows X, I, so in my particular case, that brings open the terminal here. If we do, um, just type in Python, see how now I've got Python up and running and I've got the three dots. That means I'm now good with Python on my system. What we want to do here is we want to make sure we've got Python inside VS Code. So we click on VS Code, we'll bring this guy up. We'll create a new folder, so let's go uh, to, to, to open folder, let's go to the desktop, make a new folder, Python, when you're doing these things, always make sure you organize your stuff, select the folder, and here, let's go with basics.py, now, this is why we did it, so we can get this pop-up in VS Code that says, hey, do you want to install the extension, click install here. So, control A, delete. Notice it's given us PyLance and Python debugger as well. Each of these particular extensions in VS Code means that when we get there and we start typing stuff in, okay, our Python system, let's be original, our Python system will understand what we're typing in here. And we have a little play button up the top, we can click, and then that will run our program. And that is setting up your Python environment.